when I first started, I was trying to convince the company I was working for to do what I wanted to do, and they weren't interested. So I thought, I'll do it myself. You have a, a unique story. How did you end up in AI and what um, triggered your interest? I was always interested in medicine and technology and innovation. And when I was doing my PhD, which was in neuro, neurology and neuroscience, uh, we were actually using AI to model um, brain functioning. So I didn't want to be an academic and I didn't want to go into clinical practice. So I kind of got into various things, but I was very interested in um, technology, but I ended up doing some various things in um, BBC, which was interesting. And I kind of fell into what I'm doing. It was kind of, you know, I went into the pharmaceutical industry because I saw a job ad that um, just had my qualifications. When I first started, I was trying to convince the company I was working for to do what I wanted to do. And they weren't interested. So I thought, I'll do it myself. But it's obviously quite scary just leaving full-time employment with no safety net. But I jumped and I've never really looked back. I really love what I do. And I think that's, you know, important. Why people should care about AI in healthcare? Like you work in the healthcare space and uh, why AI, AI in healthcare is exciting and why healthcare is exciting in your opinion? Well, I think the current situation <laughs> illustrates that there's a need for, you know, treatments that are life-changing. So AI in healthcare has the potential to improve so much about the way people live. We can predict illness much faster. We can diagnose conditions much faster. We can also predict who will have particular disease progression in advance so we can get treatment to them early. Um, so there's so many different things that AI can enhance for you know, the human condition in healthcare. In healthcare, it's, it's a very broad uh, sector of applications. If you look at the area where you work the most, it's around the pharma, pharmaceutical. What is the landscape of AI application in the pharmaceutical industry and why people need AI specifically in pharmaceutical? The landscape is largely, it's not where I work, but the biggest chunk of the AI landscape in pharmaceuticals is in the discovery and the research and development, and some in the clinical trials. And that makes a lot of sense that there's a lot of companies in that space in different ways, because there's so much data. If you think about genomic databases, human genome, the phenotypic imaging, all of the different databases out there, AI can be used to really sort through gazillions of data points and synthesize things. So it can help understand mechanisms of disease. You know, you would think in this day and age, we knew a lot about every illness, but we really don't. So, you know, there's loads of omics, you know, genomics, et cetera, databases that can combine those to help understand disease, which can then generate better solutions in terms of um, drugs that are being used for it. it. can also run clinical experiments, recruit for clinical trials. You know, we did one project where uh, it was a particular type of cancer and they couldn't get more than six people for the clinical trial. And they were really struggling to do it because they didn't have enough people. And we were able to look at electronic healthcare records and find people with the right biomarkers and increase that number into the thousands very quickly of people who could be contacted to do the clinical trials. And also writing publications, you know, clinical study reports can be, they usually take about six weeks to write up, whereas AI can do it in an hour, you know, 80, 90% complete. So a lot of that kind of thing, um, as well as what I do, which is all working in the, the sales and marketing side of things, um, as well as pricing and, and market access. 